Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Time is but a window, and this is Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect has 7 kills and 180 damage around. Averaging a little bit over 2 FPR, 85% headshot percentage, pushing with this P90. Let's see what he's able to do here. Those are some good stats. Still early in the game though. Gets an immediate headshot. Kind of looks like he's not controlling the recoil himself because you guys saw that it just kind of went right up above the guy's head afterwards. And he just goes and taps three guys in the face and takes them down. Okay. So yeah, that's a thing. This guy is just absolutely obliterating the other team, it looks like. And uh, for some reason, even with the P90, I don't think they're going to find a way to stop him. He's making his way over here towards mo uh, Monster Pipe outside of it. And flanking the terrorists who are making their way over there towards Playground. Bulldog's able to take down Toucan. It looks like the suspect's about to fight someone here. He actually pre-fires. Locks on his head. And he's able to take him down. Locks onto the next guy. Comes up. Okay, one more guy over here on the other side of the playground. Comes out, locks onto his face, locks onto the final guy, dinks him. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, they finally did kill him. But, for some reason, I don't think it's going to be enough to win this game. Suspect is obviously aim locking, wall hacking. He's got both of those, definitely. I don't think we're going to see any anti-aim throughout the rest of this. And uh, as far as I'm, I can tell, he's just going to run at them and just take them all down over and over again. Alright, so here he's flanking them. He knows one's over to the right, obviously. Uh, we did confirm the walls already. Making his way over here. His teammate's going to take out the guy over to the right. So he takes out two guys over to the left. One guy over here to the right peeks out. And the last guy's back over by Graffiti and he's going to push him. There he goes. Headshot. What a surprise. Teammate's going to defuse the bomb, and yeah. Alright, so, there are a couple ways I can go about the rest of this case. Uh, basically, I can fast forward it, and we can see if he's hopping around or turns on any anti-aim. Or, uh, I could skip the rest of this, but then I wouldn't be able to see if he does other external assistance, so we're trying to look for that for VACnet. Or, uh, I could watch it and cut it out of the video, but I probably won't remember to do that because I'm terrible when it comes to editing. So I'm going to speed things up. I'm able to take down Toucan over there, pushing his way over here into the site. Uh, obviously spots this guy out right behind the box, one guy over to the right. He's going to start firing and let that auto-aim take control of his crosshair, and he still goes down. Speed things up. Boosting here and spawn. And... Wow, we didn't actually see anyone that round. Again, so far, not really doing anything other than those. I don't see him hopping around. You can see that he's just kind of charging across the map. I don't think we're going to see any kind of uh, bunny hop script or anti-aim. Spin bots, unless someone on the other team decides to go full blatant. And he has to counter somehow. But yeah, he's able to take down Albatross here. And he's just hunting him. Ooh, Goose is able to get a kill onto him. But uh, Terrace are not able to win that round. Again, coming over here and messing around with his teammate. I mean, technically, if they were losing in this game and uh, he wasn't just cheating and wrecking the other team, you could easily report this as griefing and his teammates just messing around. And uh, But the truth is, they have no real fear of losing this game because the suspect's going off. Got 85% headshot percentage, 21 kills in 10 rounds, and the other team has no real chance against him. There they go, rotating over to the other site. Which is weird, because they did plan at the A site, so I guess they got completely juked out. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to make the way up. Good job, suspect. You did such a good job. Wow. Alright, so Bulldog's able to take down two guys, and it looks like the suspect's going to be making his way over here towards Party, and I, I'm pretty sure he's just going to save his gun. I can't imagine... Uh, actually, Bulldog's going to get the defuse. Uh, I didn't realize he killed everyone. Damn, Bulldog. Wow. No one else was even there. It was just all him. Alright, guys. So we're on to the 11th round here, and the suspect's still just kind of doing what he's doing. Not, 
I don't know if he doesn't know the map, he's just screwing around or what, but uh, it is boring, whatever he's doing. Blanking here, making his way behind him. Will he have time? No, he's not going to have time to win this round. Does spot one out, tags him up a little bit, but that bomb's going to explode. He's going to lose the round, get a kill on the goose, and Overwatch resolution time. Mage disruption, aim assistance, well, that's evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance, we watched the whole thing. We did not see him, like, spinning around at any point. I know I watched it in a uh, very fast speed, but nevertheless, we didn't see anything. We saw a little bit of, like, technically griefing with his teammates, but they were all doing it together because they had no chance of losing so i mean is it really technically griefing if you're not actually putting the round in danger or pissing off anyone uh other external assistance insufficient evidence there and griefing insufficient evidence there let's move on to the next case all right guys here we are on case number two the suspect has three kills his teammate is bunny hopping around in front of him so his teammate's definitely cheating the suspect's gonna be following him as following him in as he takes down woodpecker and makes his way towards site to plant the bomb for checkers Looks like Husky's able to take down Bell. The suspect's going to be making his way over here towards Checkers. Takes a shot. He did hear the footstep. Kind of followed him through the wall a little bit, but, you know, not quite uh, really that telling of it. He knows he's going to try to make his way to the left, most likely. Did follow him a little bit, but just not enough evidence for me to say he's blatantly walling at this point. Uh, suspect's going to throw a nade at Husky and take him down. Takes down Salmon coming from Vent, but he heard that Vent break. Now he's in a one or 2v1 situation. And the last guy's AFK, it looks like, in CT spawn. Suspect's gonna be making his way over here towards CT spawn. So he knows he's there. Ooh. The way that he peeked that and like juked off of it, felt like he saw him through the wall there, didn't he? Um him not him knowing that there's an AFK in their spawn might not be too strange in itself because he might just be AFK every round. As you can see, it looks like he's just sitting there AFK right now. Obviously, he does have Bell cheating on his team, so maybe the other team is giving up at this point. Uh, he's going to be making his way over here. He's going to smoke off CT spawn. Uh, really good smoke. There's no gaps in that at all. You can see that on the left side here, it is completely covered. He's going to be making his way through and picking this guy over towards Truck. He's able to take him down. There is still that guy in CT spawn, and yes, he knows he's there. He's going to be peeking into it. Misses the shot, Woodpecker's going to peek out, and it looks like Woodpecker's going to get the kill. Alright, so the suspect here has seven kills. Mainly he's just being carried by uh, Bell, but it does look like he's walling. It really does feel like it, even though he didn't pre-aim that guy through the wall. I think that he was just trying to go for a flick shot, even though he... I mean, I think he can see people through walls. And he's just like, you know what, I'm going to hit a really cool flick shot since blah 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 is going on. Either way, he uh, spots this guy over to the left, takes a shot, not quite able to connect with him. Actually, some really bad shots considering right there. I know he's going for the headshot, but you'd really think that it, he would be able to like get a little bit closer to that, maybe take his time with it, but it looks like he just kind of over-flicked it. Guy was just like full autoing it. He had plenty of time to get that crosshair onto him, and he just kind of whiffed it. Either way, checks towards heaven, spams bottom here, spams headshot, and pushes his way across over towards tree room. There's one guy over to the right. It feels like he knows he's there. I'm knows exactly where he is. Wall hacks, 100% confirmed. Earlier, I, I was pretty sure of it, but, I mean, there is no disputing that at this point, is there? All right, guys, so in this case, we do have uh, Bell, who's using everything but we can't report him for everything because uh, we're watching the suspect here suspect only seems to be using walls as far as I can tell it doesn't look like he's using an aim but he has missed some pretty easy shots uh, and some difficult shots don't I mean, don't get it wrong he's not absolutely terrible when it comes to his aim but you know he's definitely not pro either gonna be making his way over here towards a main pushing his way through uh, he has that CZ 75 and a P90 pushes his way in. He's actually going to use that CZ to try to take out the site. Let's see if it works out for him. Husky's on the other side of this box. He's looking at him right through the wall. Looks at him through the smoke. Pretends he doesn't know he's there for a second. And gets taken down by Husky. Looks over towards Vortex. Asks for the AWP and switches guns with him. Let's see what he's able to do over here at the A site. 
Looks like Daisy's gonna be holding the angle here. Suspect's gonna peek right above him. Uh, the bot pushes in and the suspect's able to react first. What a surprise. Holding that right side. He knows Frog's over there by the door. Gonna try to molly him out, but it looks like Frog's gonna decide to push through instead. So he's gonna throw a nade over here towards Husky, which does quite a bit of damage. Holding the angle, but Husky's gonna fall back from peeking it. He's not gonna take the bait. Gonna continue to play that passive angle. Suspect's gonna go for the peek towards Frog. Is able to take him down, and Vortex is gonna finish off Husky. Now, the reason I am watching through this entire game, instead of fast-forwarding it, is I need to see if he's going to do any kind of aim locks. Right now, it does look like his natural aim. It looks like it's just a wall hack. So most likely, I will have to watch through this entire game, instead of speeding it up and trying to just see if he's using a spin bot or a bunny hop script. He, uh, obviously... Well, you know, the wall hack is obvious, but if he was using an aim bot, I wouldn't be able to tell at a really fast speed. It's hard enough to tell at normal speed sometimes. One guy over to the right, he hears the scope. And he's gonna look back around. I, I think he's trying to hide it. He's just doing a horrible job at it. Kiwi's able to take down Bot Frog. Emu's gonna trade out Kiwi. And the suspect is sitting over here just kind of looking at this wall. I don't know if he's gonna scope and shoot someone or what. As soon as they start crossing, we'll see. Goes back over towards the vent. All three of them are over here. Oh, no, no, he's not hiding at all. And <laughs> takes a shot. Maybe someone on the other team is cheating. That guy that shot him might be, but it might have just been a spam too. Or maybe he expects someone on the other team is cheating, and that's why he decided to go more blatant than he was on the first rounds we were in. Either way, Overwatch resolution time. Let's go through this. Minor disruption, griefing, insufficient evidence. He wasn't doing any griefing and trying to lose the game. As for other external assistance, we didn't see any bunny hop scripts or uh, anti-aims or anything like that. Vision assistance, that one is evident beyond reasonable doubt. We could tell throughout most of the game that he was definitely using uh, some vision assistance, being able to easily trace people and follow people through walls. And of course, aim assistance insufficient i did not see any evidence showing that he was using any form of aim assistance that game anyways guys let's move on to the third case all right guys here we are on case number three as you can see the suspect has six kills and 83 percent headshot percentage at 102 damage around those are some pretty good stats let's be honest holding over here towards the a side it looks like donkey is getting a little bit antsy and might just push right into his crosshair here Spots him out, takes the shot, not quite able to connect, and then Donkey repeaks and absolutely obliterates him. What a great repeak from Donkey. Now, the question is, is Donkey wall hacking, and did he try to bait out that shot first and then go for the kill, or is he just really playing well? Either way, Donkey's over here at B, so it looks like the suspect's going to get another matchup against him. Pushing his way up. Donkey is right up there close by Van, and the suspect is trying to push his way in. Seems to know he's there, I think. It's... Eh, maybe not. Checking over here to the right. Got a call from his teammate. Uh, Kiwi's able to take down Sonar. He's going to take down Donkey. He's going to be looking over here towards Market. One guy is in Market over towards Window. One guy is flanking completely all the way around. And he's not sure what he wants to do, but he spots someone out over towards Market. He hides behind the wall real quick. Goes for the repeat. Tags him up a little bit. But gets out of there before he can die. Looks like Kiwi's going to take down Sonar. And uh, Val's going to take down Woodpecker. Okay, last one is Heron. And Heron's going to try to save his gun at this point. It's a 3v1. He has no HP. And he just wants to save that AK. Completely logical. Bomb's going to blow up momentarily. Suspect's hunting. Safely, though. Uh, suspect doesn't have that much health himself. He's got 40 HP. So he's not doing anything high risk. He's just checking things out. His teammates are checking things out. And he's being very careful, like someone who's not walling. So right now, I don't actually know if he's walling. Uh, one of the moments seemed a little bit suspicious when he was coming off. It looked like he knew that guy was up close by Van, but that is pretty typical for people to play there. A lot of people actually play there and just kind of jump up a little bit to just get some information and then fall back off of that. But either way, the suspect's making his way over here towards the underpass. Let's see if he knows where anyone else is, but it looks like his teammates are going to take everyone out before he can even get to them. Last guy, Donkey, AFK, and CT spawn. And his teammates are going to be pinching him. 
Going for the knife kill, I think. And yes, Kiwi is able to get the knife kill. Okay, so Donkey had that incredible pick on the suspect earlier. Now he seems to be AFK. Uh, looks like he just left the server. He might be coming back with cheats. We'll have to wait and see. Suspect seems to know a set smoke here. Going to throw it and push his way up. Aaron's going to be pushing on him. He's able to take him down. He's going to continue to push his way over here towards the stairs. Looked over towards Halls for a second. Looked a little bit weird, but he was just dodging that flashbang. Don't think that that was actually him staring at them through the wall. Either way, Hatchet's able to take down Heron. There is still one guy in Halls, and it looks like he was going to take down Sonar, and Hatchet's going to finish off Woodpecker. Just jumping up and down right now. Not entirely sure why, but uh... Hey, you know what? There's nothing illegal about jumping up and down in one place. I mean, it could be a bunny hop script and him just not moving. Or uh, he could be typing in commands in a cheat menu. And every time he hits the space bar or whatever, uh, it causes him to jump. I don't know. I've, I've seen weirder things happen. Alright, but yeah, definitely not enough evidence to say that he's going to be using a bunny hop script anytime soon or anything like that. Either way, Heron's able to take down Hatchet, and he is the last CT alive. Of course, the suspect knows exactly where he is because his teammate went down to him, and he's just holding the angle. He's holding up towards his head, peeks out, and he's able to take him down with a couple headshots. Now, at first he was holding on the bottom. When the guy repositioned, he moved his crosshair up. Maybe he can see him through the walls, but again, just not enough evidence at this point for me to say that he, you know, absolutely knows that he's there. And it has to be evident beyond reasonable doubt. And these hops are happening again, so it makes me think that he is messing with some kind of cheat menu, uh, and he's trying to hide it. But the truth is, even if he is cheating, if we can't really detect it, like if we can't see him do something that really gives it away, we're going to have to report this as not enough evidence. I mean, even though he's hopping up and down, he could just be a weirdo. Technically. I mean... I've seen it enough times to know that that is sometimes what happens with certain cheat menus. Alright, Hatchet's able to take down Sonar. We didn't see the suspect really do much of anything that round. Making his way over here towards the B site. Hatchet is taking the lead, but it looks like most of the conflict's going over at the A site, since all the CTs are over there. Suspect takes a shot towards the wooden plank, doesn't quite connect on it. It also seemed to line up with one of the CTs, but I think that was more coincidence than anything else. Pushing his way through here, one guy over in jungle. And it looks like Bell's going to take out the final CT. We're on to the second half of the map. Suspect's got 9 kills, 66% headshot percentage. And he's going to be making his way towards middle, where there is one guy top mid pushing his way down. He heard the footsteps, peeks out, and he gets absolutely obliterated. Oh my, I would have liked to see a little bit more of that, because uh, honestly, guys, I feel like it looked like he had the signs of using a cheat menu. But let's go through it real quick. Minor disruption, griefing. I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here. He wasn't griefing his teammates and trying to lose the game in any way, manner, or form. Uh, major disruption, other external assistance. We did see him hop in place a couple times, but that's not technically bunny hopping. I mean, we have to make sure he's like, you know, doing some kind of automated jumping. And uh, there it just kind of looked like he was pressing spacebar, even though it doesn't make sense that he would do that. I think he was trying to type something in or something and it was causing him to jump. Uh, and, you know, that means they most likely had an external program. But then again, we can't see if he was typing anything and that was doing it. So, I mean, what am I supposed to report here? So I guess I have to go with insufficient evidence here. Uh, moving our way up to major disruption vision assistance. And, I mean, there were a couple moments that seemed a little bit suspicious, like the guy over by the van. But really, uh, that and the guy that pushed A main. But he was just holding A main uh, from the very beginning of the round. And I don't know if the guy didn't, if he hadn't pushed, if he would have rotated off, or if he was getting ready to rotate off in the first place. Uh, either way, there just wasn't enough evidence for me to say that, you know, we can confirm vision assistance, sadly. So, insufficient evidence here. I mean, the problem, the reason I say sadly is because I feel like this guy had a cheat menu, and that is why he was doing the hops. But then again, feelings aren't facts. 
And when we get to major disruption aim assistance, there was just no real evidence that showed that he was using any form of aim assistance, so insufficient evidence here as well. Anyways, guys, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Did I just let a cheater get away? And what would you guys have reported in this instance? As always, hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day.